First Kings chapter 6, and it was in the 480th year after the children of Yisrael were come out of the land of Mitzrayim, in the fourth year of Shalomor's reign over Yisrael, in the month Zil, which is the second month, that he began to build the house of Yahweh. And the house which King Shlomo built for Yahweh, the length thereof was sixty cubits, and the breadth thereof twenty, and the height thereof thirty cubits. And the porch before the temple of the house, twenty cubits was the length thereof according to the breadth of the house, and ten cubits was the breadth thereof before the house, and for the house he made windows of fixed lattice work, and against the wall of the house he built stories round about, against the walls of the house round about, both of the temple and of the oracle, and he made side chambers round about. The nethermost story was five cubits broad, and the middle was six cubits broad, and the third was seven cubits broad, for on the outside he made offsets in the wall of the house round about, that the beams should not have hold in the walls of the house. And the house, when it was in building, was built of stones made ready at the quarry, and there was neither hammer nor axe nor any tool of iron heard in the house while it was in building. The door for the middle side chambers was in the right side of the house, and they went up by winding stairs into the middle story, and out of the middle into the third. So he built the house and finished it, and he covered the house with beams and planks of cedar, and he built the stories against all the house, each five cubits high, and they rested on the house with timber of cedar. And the word of Yahweh came to Shalomor, saying, Concerning this house, which thou art building, if thou wilt walk in my statutes, and execute my ordinances, and keep all my commands to walk in them, then will I establish my word with thee, which I spoke to Dawid thy father. And I will dwell among the children of Yisrael, and will not forsake my people Yisrael. So Shalomor built the house and finished it, and he built the walls of the house within the boards of cedar, from the floor of the house to the walls of the ceiling. He covered them on the inside with wood, and he covered the floor of the house with boards of fir, and he built twenty cubits on the hinder part of the house with boards of cedar from the floor to the walls of the ceiling. He built them for it within, for an oracle, even for the most holy place. And the house, that is the temple before the oracle, was forty cubits long, and there was cedar on the house within, carved with knops and open flowers. All was cedar, there was no stone seen. And he prepared an oracle in the midst of the house within, to set there the ark of the covenant of Yahweh. And within the oracle, was a space of twenty cubits in length, and twenty cubits in breadth, and twenty cubits in the height thereof. And he overlaid it with pure gold, and he covered the altar with cedar. So Shalomor overlaid the house within with pure gold, and he drew chains of gold across before the oracle, and he overlaid it with gold. And the whole house he overlaid with gold, until all the house was finished. Also the whole altar that belonged to the oracle he overlaid with gold. And in the oracle he made two kruvim of olive wood, each ten cubits high, and five cubits was the one wing of the kruv, and five cubits the other wing of the kruv, from the uttermost part of the one wing to the uttermost part of the other were ten cubits, and the other kurub was ten cubits. Both the kurubim were of one measure and one form. The height of the one kurub was ten cubits, and so was it of the other kurub. And he set the kurubim within the inner house, 
and the wings of the Kurubim were stretched forth so that the wing of the one touched the one wall and the wing of the other Kurub touched the other wall and their wings touched one another in the midst of the house. And he overlaid the Kurubim with gold and he carved all the walls of the house round about with carved figures of Kuruvim and palm trees and open flowers within and without. And the floor of the house he overlaid with gold within and without. And for the entrance of the oracle he made doors of olive wood. The lintel and doorposts were a fifth part of the wall. So he made two doors of olive wood and he carved upon them carvings of Kuruvim and palm trees and open flowers, and overlaid them with gold, and he spread the gold upon the Kuruvim, and upon the palm trees. So also made he, for the entrance of the temple door posts of olive wood, out of a fourth part of the wall, and two doors of fir wood, the two leaves of the one door were folding, and the two leaves of the other door were folding, and he carved thereon kurubim and palm trees and open flowers, and he overlaid them with gold fitted upon the graven work. And he built the inner court with three courses of hewn stone and a course of cedar beams. In the fourth year was the foundation of the house of Yahweh laid in the month Zil, and in the eleventh year in the month Bul which is the eighth month, the house was finished throughout all the parts thereof, and according to all the fashion of it, so was he seven years in building it.